Okay, hi everyone. Um, today in this video I'm going to go through and show you um, one way of um, increasing your storage capacity in your NAS for free. Um, in this particular scenario I'm going to increase uh, the capacity by replacing the hard drives with um, larger ones. So as you can see um, we've, I've got a NAS set up, it's just running a full install. This is the storage um, section, it's uh, mirrored drives, two 80 gig hard drive mirror drives, I've put some stuff on it to show you and we'll be replacing that with two 120 gig hard drives. So there's only two drives and it's mirrored so we're going to replace one at a time. So if we go into management you'll be able to see I've got three hard drives, this one's the boot and these two are set in mirrored. So everything's working normally um, and you can see we've got 63, 63 gigs free. So the first thing we're going to do is um, just leave everything as it is and then shut it down and then we'll replace one of the hard drives with um, a larger capacity 120 gig hard drive. Okay so I'll do that and when we come back um, we'll continue. Okay so I've rebooted. Um, I forgot to mention before that obviously this is in um, a ZFS pool that uh, we're replacing. So anyway, so I've rebooted and you can now see that it says uh, the pool has been degraded and that's the pool name data. So that's been degraded. If we go over to management, you can actually see it's highlighted the one that's uh, degraded. So that's the previous one. Um, if we go into the ZFS, you can go into information and it actually says that um, the original drive is now unavailable. Okay, so there's tools in here that we could use. Technically, you go replace the device, and that's the pool name, and it was ADA0. Place ADA0 with ADA0. If you hit send command, um, it should go through and resilver that. So it's actually doing it. So if we go over to information. It's actually resilvering it. So we just wait for it to um, finish. As uh, as it's doing that, we'll come back when it's finished and um, we'll continue from there. Okay, so I've come back. It's just finished resilvering all the data there. Um, if we go back into disk management, you can still see now. Um, what we can do is now we can go clear config and re-import and it will pick up the new disk. You can see it's now picked up 880 as a 120 gig drive. So the pool, if we go back to the pool information, everything's healthy and everything's online, but um, it's still only gonna use the 80 gig um, of space. So what we need to do now is do the same thing for the other disk. So I'm just going to shut down and we'll be right back. Okay, so now it's rebooted again. Um, you'll see it's degraded again, just to check. So in here now you can see it's the uh, ADA1 rather than ADA0. So that's already 120, that's still 80. So if we go into the ZFS, go into information just to check. Okay, so it's saying that um, the old, the original disk is unavailable. So we go into tools, find replace. So the option is we want to replace the device, just the right pool. I've only got one pool in here. Uh, if we go ADA1 with ADA1, so that's replacing the same, go send command. And if we go over to information. Um, it might just take a while because it's reading, yeah. So you can see that it says replacing this one and um, it's resilvering and you can see it running up here. Once it's resilvered, um, we'll go through and get it to uh, expand to use the full capacity of the new uh, devices and we'll be ready to go. So I'll be right back when that's um, completed. Okay, so as you can see it's nearly done. more seconds. Okay, so it's done. 
if we go back into tools oops sorry go back into this uh, we can actually go clear config and import and it'll import the new disk so now we've got two 120 gig hard drives in there so the 280 go back to status and it's online okay but you, you can still see that it's still only um, using the 80 gigs so it's still got the free so what we can do here to if you go into the command type in here is zpool um, online dash e which is expand and then the pool name so it's my pool name is data and we'll do we have to do one at a time we go ada0 click execute and then we can redo it for disk ADA1 now if we go back to the status you can actually see that it's instantly um, recognized the two 120 gig hard drives and expanded the free space so there we have it technically that's the um, the, the way to do it in a NAS for free environment um, I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching